Hi, I'm Jennifer Brown, editor of Canadian Lawyer In-House Magazine, and I'm here today with Marie-Andre Vermette and Mandy Seidenberg of Weirfolds LLP. In this version of the Weirfolds quiz, we're looking at e-discovery, just what is discoverable and to what length you should go to recover certain information. Marie-Andre, let's say I work for a mid-sized company and we are being required to produce some electronic documents as a result of some ongoing litigation brought by a former client. If some of the relevant documents were deleted, should we go to some length to have those documents produced during documentary discovery? The Sedona Canada principles provide that deleted information should not be required to be produced uh, in, in most cases absent agreement of the parties or an order of the court based on demonstrated need and relevance. So in most cases, the scope of collection of ele electronically stored information should not include deleted data and should be limited to sources that are reasonably accessible and uh, data that is used in the ordinary course of business. However, uh, in cases where deleted data uh, may be relevant that is not otherwise accessible, this is an issue that the parties should discuss. And in most, if not all cases, it's recommended that parties meet and confer at the beginning of the litigation to discuss electronic discovery issues, uh, including the scope of production. So if the agreed upon scope of production includes deleted data, then your company should instruct a qualified person to retrieve the relevant deleted information. If there is no agreement between counsel regarding the retrieval of deleted information, a party can bring a motion and the court can order that relevant deleted information be recovered and produced in the case if the court is satisfied that this information is required. Mandy, let's say as part of the discovery process, my company is asked to retrieve emails going to the client dating back to 2009. Our archives go back three years, with the rest being stored on storage backup tapes at an off-site warehouse. Who picks up the tab to have those recovered? So in the usual course of litigation, uh, each party is responsible for paying the cost of retrieving and producing their own documents, and the opposing party would bear the cost of taking a copy of those documents, electronic or otherwise. So in this case, your company would be responsible for paying the bill to retrieve those documents. At the end of the litigation, uh, the court might make an order against the unsuccessful party that they have to pay the cost of producing the documents. And it would only be in rare circumstances that you'd be able to get an order prior to the end of litigation requiring the opposing party to pay the cost of production up front. Okay, thank you. For more on e-discovery, please have a look at the Weirfolds quiz in the September issue of Canadian Lawyer In-House.